In ancient times, it was believed that supernatural beings watched over the mortal realm, known to most as gods. These entities were virtually omnipotent in the eyes of our ancestors, yet depended on humanity's belief to function. As a result, most of them also took surprisingly human traits, despite their vast power. Indeed, humanity was in many ways the blood of the gods. Some believed that without worship or reverence, the gods would wither and die or lose their influence over the world. Yet, for as long as mankind has believed in gods, it too believed in frightening beings just below them in the celestial order, having many of the same powers as the divine in the eyes of mortals, yet possessing opposite nature and purpose. As a result, Many of these creatures took bestial traits that mocked the human form, rather than complemented it. While the gods, by and large, held dominance over nature, space, or time, the demons, as mankind would later call them, seemed to embody only the most base and degenerate of both the immortal and divine worlds, delighting in causing destruction and ruin to spite creation and further their own often acting as an arbiter in their desires. Great battles were said to take place between the gods and the demons, invisible wars that often used humanity as elaborate chess pieces, though the demons were prone to cheating, as was their nature. Through many centuries this war seemed to go on, and no clear winner was to be found. Ultimately, it seemed both sides failed as mankind began to lose faith in the gods and saw the demons as little more than fairy tales passed on by ignorant or misguided ancestors. Thus, as mankind built his cities and marvels, the gods seemed to fade from the everyday lives of all but a few. So too did the demons appear to slip into the past, as the world of mortals seemed to evolve beyond the divine or the infernal. Yet. The demons appeared to be the opposite of the gods in more ways than humanity could have thought. For while the gods grew weak without the blood of human devotion, the demons grew stronger. For as mankind dismissed them as legends, the demons were free to continue their destruction of creation. It appeared as if the cosmic game had a champion after all. The demons had taken their prize without mankind even knowing. Yet. Without the gods to busy themselves with, the demons had to turn their attention ever more to mankind as they found themselves growing ever more dependent on the mortal world to satisfy their cruelty and malice. Thus, just as the gods of old had begun to take on human traits, it would come to pass that the demons began to develop a similar appearance, yet still retained the bestial chaos of the past and a desire to see mankind suffer ever more with each passing moment. Thus, a new malevolent breed of God was born. Demons dependent on mankind. The blood of the gods once more. <laughs> 